Hey guys, and welcome to another video on the Revan server. Today, we're going to look into my plot some more. We're going to build on it and give you little updates as I go through. This won't be a review episode, at least I hope not, unless it's very short and I just added on to a review episode. So I'm going to try and do some work on my plot here. I'm going to show you how I do my ruins, and it's a very simple process on how I do them and give them the detail without really doing much, uh, much work. Oops, took a screenshot. So, we have Obama on the server. Where is he? I gotta show you this. Frag 3, not Jamzy Boy, not Jamzy Boy. Where's Obama? There's Jamzy Boy. Okay. I don't know. There, there, was, there was a guy that, I guess there's a staff with that name, Obama. Okay, so you see right here, this looks disgusting. It looks horrible, ugly piece of crap. Now, with ruin type builds, what you want to do is know what you want to make. So, I wanted to make some kind of dome shape. Nothing too special, have some stuff on the corners. Now, I don't have to worry about the stuff on the corners connecting up, and that's just going to be a pain. Should I do this? Should I have a corner there, and that just screws it up? No, you don't have to worry. So just do the parts that's easy, give it a nice rough look, and then once you're done, whatever landscape it's on, start demolishing it. So I don't have any moss on this yet, or cracked stone bricks, or cobblestone walls to give it some detail. So what do I want to do? Let's say I want this whole chunk right here cut off and maybe fallen down this way. So, you know, you don't have to do it extremely to scale. You know, just just very, very, very rough. Not extremely rough. Hold on. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing now. Should I do it like that? Sometimes it's... Okay. Sometimes it's weird. There we go. Come on, stairs. There we go. Okay. So let's say it falls over, whatever. You know, this came over here. And then there's like a half slab. Whatever. I know it's three blocks here, but you have to keep in mind that maybe some went in the ground here. You know, maybe there's some right here. Maybe it's some cracked. Let's see if we can get some cracked. Now, we're definitely going to want this to be cracked. And then some of this to be mossy because you, ha you have to take an account that it's right by the ground. Um, this fell over so it's cracked with the stairs. I don't think we can change it to be cracked. Let's try. I doubt it. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't seem that way. Let's try half slabs. Ooh, maybe. Did I see something there? That looks like cobblestone half slab. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen, guys. So, yeah, stuff like this is very simple. Now, you can see you have a bunch of detail in here. You have the stairs, the half slabs in a different shape. You have the mossy on the bottom and the cracked. And you can also add maybe some vines on it if you really want to. And then this part right here, you you can always add moss. Always keep it at the bottom. Remember that. The, the moss should always be at the bottom. So, of course, it can occur up here, you know, if there's trees above this or a lot of vegetation around everywhere then yeah put moss towards the top but I like to keep it at the bottom because that's where all the stuff is all the green and so at, at most I like to do two blocks up that's what I do <clears throat> then add a crack or two so you see right there with little effort and just uh, with barely any effort I mean I just put some half slab blocks here and gave it a nice little look very simple. Actually, we can make that cracked. There we go. And then you can do the same. This looks uh, too, too, um, too much of a structure. You can always make this one fall back. Let's try this here. Let's make this fall back. Can we? Can we do that? Yeah, we can. We can do this. That. Alright, so that one could be moss. You can always add another one. You know, you never know where it's gonna where it's gonna fall. Crack there, crack there. Stone there. This all falls. Let's just take out chunks of these. You can even do that. And then over there to give it some oh, what? Mine. Oh, duh. Okay. You can even do stuff like this. 
do different levels, more half slabs falling, stuff like that. Very simple, very easy to do. So just do that and you can get a nice good looking ruin look. I'm also trying to build a tower here, I don't know if that's a good spot but I can always world edit it so I just want to build one here and I'll be back with you guys once I get some other stuff done. Okay so here we have another tower, I built it right there and just cut it, paste it over there, got world edit. Now you, you see there, there's definitely some flaws in here, it looks sort of out of place because it's a lot taller than the terrain it's standing on. So what we're going to do is we're going to blow it up pretty much. So well, what's going to happen to this? Uh, will some kind of cannonball be shot at this from this angle over here and blow everything up to the sides? We'll just have to see. So let's see. If it, if a cannonball hit, hit right here, TNT, whatever, let's actually see what happens. <clears throat> I don't think they're going to let us blow it up, but we have to try. Okay, so stone brick, TNT. And please blow up. Okay, good. Did. Let's see. Nope, yep, nope, didn't blow up. Okay. So I would assume TNT, I mean, these have blast, a blast radius. So let's just chop it through. Now it's going to look ugly when we chop it through. And that's what we kind of want. And there's some floating blocks in there. We'll have to fix that, of course. And in here, you see that it's block, block, block. Uh, we can easily change this by adding some, quote unquote, broken blocks. You know, some stuff that maybe fell down from here. Put some stairs like that and easily fix that. It'll look a lot smoother. But right now, let's just keep it at that. So what I'm going to do uh, while you guys are waiting for the two seconds while I'm gone, I'm going to put some blocks down here that maybe trickle down, maybe some over here, and see what happens. So we're going to do that. And then give it mossy look so I'll be right back and there we go I think it turned out pretty nice again you got the trickle down you have the stuff that was blown up from here and, you know it's scattered through and then also some blocks got shoved into here because well got hit directly on but we wanted some stuff to be on the ground so that's that you got the stone half slabs from up here you have some that fell down onto here a lot of cool stuff going on here lots of stuff may look like a lot of randomization, which it is, but really it's all a sense of how you imagine the cannonball shot or the TNT, whatever it is. It's uh, I'm trying to make everything as realistic as possible. Of course, who's going to see a lot of ruins around, <laughs> around the world? I mean, there are, of course, everywhere, but not, not, not very, not, not many, so not, not much, not much. Plus, I've never shot a cannonball at a thing before, so I don't know how much damage a cannonball does. So, that's how I'm doing these ruins here. I'm going to check out the length of this video. It shouldn't be that long. But really, that's all it is. Now, people may think, oh, these ruins, they're really easy. It's, it doesn't take any skill at all. You just blow up something or build some kind of random structure like this. But really, you have to think how many blocks should be down there. Now it may look like too much, but uh, you have to remember that this is a ruins. There could be uh, previous structures in the middle here. There could have been some kind of stone circle or some kind of sundial. And uh, there's some remnants of that. Oh, I forgot to take down this. Oops. Yeah, and stuff like that that you forget. So you have to sort of think uh, how it would look like in, in, in real life. And how it how it would turn out in real life, but I'm liking this so far. It's looking really cool. Only two uh, main structures are done. I mean, there's this over here. I want to put a tree overhanging over here, and I want to maybe put a path coming through here. A nice path, maybe something to block block this over here. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, but we'll see. We'll see. So I'll be back with you guys with either an update or. This video is longer than I expected. Um, I'll be back. So here we are, another tree. Have the roots going along. Some leaves fell down. Really flat over here. I just, I just got done with it. So there's always little tweaking to be done. Every time I go around a tree that I make, there's always a flat area. There's always something that looks too sharp of a, of a corner. 
you know, stuff like that. I like it. It's nice and fat in one area. It goes in a curve and sort of leans over. Look right here, see? It's always tweaking. Always, always, always tweaking. So, yeah, it'll it'll look different, but it'll look completely different in a few minutes just from me tweaking it. But I, but I like it. I like it. So, um, like I said, I want to have a path coming through here. So possibly going up through here, maybe. Uh, just random path. It doesn't really have to be people. Probably up here is the best spot. Go through here. Maybe through here. I have no idea. Maybe it'll just stop right here and then continue. Or maybe I'll put two, uh, two paths and then some some tiny 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 stone structures on the side I'm gonna go around and then it'll be sort of a walkway over here sometimes I hate flying around because I really don't get a feel um, what I like to do for example the swamp biome plot that we reviewed the curious pig I think that was episode 4 I walk through it and that was the way you should do it so when I'm completely done with mine or at least I'll think I'm completely done. I'll walk through it and I'll see how I feel. If I feel it looks a little bit too weird walking through it uh, and I don't enjoy it, then that's where I could do some tweaking and make myself like it. So that's a little tip for you guys and that's definitely what I'm going to be doing because when I walk through this plot, I'm sure I'm going to find some stuff where uh, I don't like this part right here. I want it to be more of a, a bigger reveal or... You know something over here something over there to give it more atmosphere so yeah whenever you're done with your plot whenever you think you're done walk through it don't fly walk now all these people who review whatever they are I hope that they do the same thing because that's how you should judge a plot most of the time and then do a flyby so walk through your plot do you like it do you really do you like it walking through is does it feel does it feel cool now from here me walking around you know, there's not much I could tell because there's only so much done. And it's very flat in some areas, not much. As of right now, I, I think it's growing. It's it's coming along. So this will be a tiny little update. I believe it's probably 15 minutes in. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this episode, this short episode. I don't know if I'm going to make it episode 9 or episode 1, or just a random video. But whatever it is, it's uploaded. So... Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, click that like button. You know it helps me out a ton. Subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, it doesn't look like any light, light glitches got through. So you can see how cool this is going to look. Now we have all this mumbo jumbo down here. Let me show you what I did with the floor and how that looks.